Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So today, I am going to Restoration Hardware. Um, I want to buy the Gilt Mirror. So I want to go make sure I'm getting the size that I actually am going to love. So, wish me luck, guys. I'm going to try to vlog a little bit inside of there. I don't know if you can't. I have seen women do it. So... Let's see if I won't, you know, be told to put my camera away. But the goal is to get the mirror and start to work around the mirror because I am refurnishing my downstairs. So this is vlog style, guys. I think I said it in my last video. I am going to redecorate the entire downstairs. Um, I'm trying to bring gold into it. It may be a little difficult because of my kitchen. is an open kitchen. But I am going to try to figure something out with the knobs and the pulls on my cabinets. So that might take some time. I may paint them as well. It's a little pricey. So that may hold. So I may just change the pulls and the knobs for now. So get a nice rug. Go to Home Goods, And see what we can get guys. So I will bring you guys along with me. So I'll catch you guys in a second. Bye. All right, hey guys, I am about to get some gas. I don't want to say I'm on E, but I'm close. I'm close to this. <laughs> I'll be playing, but I'm gonna get some gas, hop on the highway, and get to Restoration Hardware, um, and just go in. All right, guys. So I'm here I'm in the bathroom. Um, I'm gonna go to. It's so dark in here. Let me see if I can grab some light. I'm gonna go to the fourth floor first, which is interior, and then I'm gonna come back down and see what I can get. But I am gonna start filming. I don't think they're gonna say anything. I don't know if I'm gonna use my vlog camera or my actual phone, but we'll see. So. That's the big one. That one is massive. That's too big. And here's a task light. The task light. That mirror is huge. <laughs> And I think that's the one sixteen one. And this rug is nice. I do like these colors. It's a repeat. No, it's just because if you were. So the gold frames, those are nice. And then it's like, maybe I'll do something like that. Oh, change it to black matte. It's like, it looks like a denim or something. I don't know, can you guys see that? That's smart. Yeah, I like that. And then some lamps, but these photos are huge. I need like a really light. How are you doing today? Hi. <laughs> I'm, I'm just. I'm um, so the 42 by 78 is 1496. If mm -hmm. you decide, now 116. That's massive. I just, I don't think if you've got an eight foot ceiling. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 116 is going to be there. So that's, I mean, and this is a, this is an 11 foot ceiling. So oh, yeah, unless no. your ceilings are this high, yeah, no. then that's going to be too big. Yeah. Me. Yeah, I, I did some measurement. I think the, I think that will look really good. And I actually think it's going to look massive because of how the space is. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so. it's going to look a lot bigger mm -hmm. in your space. So, and then again, you can get a little bit more height to it if you take it take up it off up the floor and hang floor. it. So that you're... Um, and this is 42 wide? This is 42 wide. So this we're talking huge. this size. 
Actually, this side is completely, right? Because yes. the ornate part is at the top. Right, so the mirror itself would be a little bit shorter, shorter. because your, your dimension of 48 is gonna be up to at that At the point. top part, okay. So your mirror is gonna probably be about 10 inches shorter than this, but then you'll have your, the top your part. frame. I'm excited. Yeah, so if you would imagine, you know, dropping this mm -hmm. about 18 inches mm -hmm. or so, um, on an eight foot, because an eight foot ceiling is going to be, I said this was an 11 foot ceiling, yeah. so. That's your eight foot ceiling right there. Oh no, it's, it's taller than that. So I'm probably at 10. So maybe a, you're at nine or something. Maybe like nine that. or 10, because I think upstairs is probably eight. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. So I still think that's the right size. Yeah. Right yeah.
I purchased it. I have, I have my, um, what is this? My, my phone, so it's like really foggy and stuff. But I got it. I got the membership. So I'm probably going to start adding in some pieces. She said I have 72 hours to um, buy extra and use the same delivery fee. So that's good to know. But I'll see you guys. All right, guys. So I just finished out. I left <laughs> Restoration Hardware. And I'm going to go to Home Goods just to see what they have. I am on the other side of town. So what else to do but go to Home Goods? Um, but I'm so excited for the mirror. I'll tell you guys everything once I get settled in back home. The price and everything. The membership. Um, is the membership worth it? If you are not going to probably buy a lot of stuff there. Um, or, you know, you never know, right? You never know. So, I'll give you guys that breakdown. I ended up getting the 42 by 78. Which, that's a pretty big mirror, guys. Because he showed me one. Another mirror. So what happens is the ornate part on top of the gilt mirror takes away from some of the mirror. So the mirror is actually a little bit shorter, but that top piece is gonna give you that four, that 78, which is fine too. So it's essentially the same size as the Hovet mirror at Ikea as far as height. And it's wider than the one at Ikea. So huge mirror. But the hover that Ikea, you know, is very small frame. So you get all mirror. Um, and they have black now too, guys. So you don't have to paint your mirror. And I think they're, what's the, I forget the price. But they're not expensive. But I really wanted this mirror on top of my sofa that I'm getting. That's going to be custom because of the fabric that I want. So it's going to take a couple of months. But before you know it, it'll be here. I just want to brighten up my space in my home. And I'm super excited. So I have a few more things to buy. Um, so I'm trying to hit the bigger ticket stuff first, um, get those out the way and then just start adding on the smaller things that I need. So going to go to home goods, see what they have. Hopefully they have something really, really nice, maybe like a rug or something, um, and go from there guys. But I got some really, really good inspiration from their photos and stuff. I'm going to go to Hobby Lobby. I just got some really good ideas on some things and I'm going to start playing around with some of the frames that I have. In my home currently i have so many frames and just utilize those utilize the things that i currently have i have some bookshelves that are really nice and just get creative with everything that i am doing guys so wish me luck on my new home decorating journey guys so i will catch you guys probably when i get back home possibly all right guys bye hey guys so i am back in the house and I'm so happy that I got my mirror. So I ended up going to Home Goods. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Um, I need to grab my other tripod because I right now I have the hand grip which doesn't have like a stand. So I'm gonna grab my tripod and kind of show you guys what I got. I do not think I'm keeping any of it. And my reason is I was going for something else and I was like, this is not gonna, this is not gonna match what I'm, what I'm trying to go for. So, yeah. So I'm gonna show you guys. Let me grab my other tripod and then show you guys what I got from Home Goods. All right, guys. All right, guys. I'll just set my camera up this way, and I'm just gonna show you what I got from Home Goods. So, like I said, I don't think I'm keeping it. I'm just trying to figure out this lighting is going to go in and out. I can already tell. So let me just slide. And this is my, again, this is my new uh, vlogging camera. So I'm just going to slide everything over to me. So it's close. So we're not going in and out. Um, All right, guys, so here we go. Let's get into what I got from Home Goods. I do not think that I'm going to keep this stuff. I wanted to bring it home just to kind of see. So what I'm trying to do is incorporate some gold in here. And everything in my kitchen is stainless steel. So my goal is to try to like mix metals a bit uh, without being like gaudy or anything. So... 
I saw this and it's just a small piece, but I thought it was really cute. And the other one was broken, the tall one, so I couldn't get it. So I have a table here that I'm, I'm gonna show you guys um, that I actually want to sell because <laughs> it has chrome legs. But if I can figure out a way to mix these metals, then I would do it. It's so bright. But I got this from Home Goods. Can you guys see? So I have something similar upstairs where it's like all stainless steel. But this one was really cute because it has the gold at the top. You can't really see it, but it's a really nice brass. And you guys know like there's stuff from that's made in India, it's always really nice. So I got this lantern. Let's open it up. Let's... Yeah. So everything works fine. The door and stuff. But I think it's really pretty. And if I change my knobs in my kitchen, I think this is good, like I said, because it's, it's mixed, right? So that is the first thing that I got. And I know I'm going to keep this. Even if I don't sit it in my living room, I have a place for it, I like it. Now, it doesn't really go with the style that I'm looking for, but I'm, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna sleep on it. Actually, let me leave it out so I can see it on the counter. So that's that, and I actually like the color. Like, I could just like bring it in a little bit. The other thing I bought was, Here's my receipt. <laughs> What's like, I don't know what you call this. Was this bowl? Well, I don't know if it's a bowl. What is it called? Child, I don't know. But I like these from, um, you know, I could take this put my little bowl, my little balls in it because I have it in like the chrome one right now and just start playing around with the gold in here, right? And see what <laughs> I come up with. Just, you know, I don't know. Can you guys see that? So I'm gonna leave this here on the counter Right now I have this one, so if I can just start bringing little pieces of gold in here. And to be quite honest, the stuff from India, the reason why I like it is because it's not so much, it's, some of it is shiny, but it's, I don't know, it's just like kind of dark. So I'm gonna sit this on my counter and we're gonna leave this here for now. And we're gonna just start playing around with the gold in the kitchen. All right. So I know I'm gonna keep that. If I can find that other thing. So that's that. And then <laughs> I got this. Guys, I'm probably this is this is probably going back. Cause I <laughs> I'll just be buying stuff. I'm like, you know, you could always return it, right? And it's so empty in here. I didn't even, I hope I have a video of what it looked like before because I never really, you guys probably see the video. And this is, it's like, it's like a cutting, I don't know, what do you call these? Like a, hmm. Oh, this little piece came off. Did it come off in here? We're gonna have to put something on here because the screw, it must have came up inside of here because it feels sticky. I'm gonna put, I don't know if you guys can see. No, it's so bright. It's like, oh, you see that? And this one is missing. But I can just stick something there. But, can you guys see? It's pretty. I'm just gonna start maneuvering some stuff around in the kitchen and just playing with the color, getting the colors in. And before I start really changing any knobs or anything, just just move slow. I was gonna paint my cabinets. It is very pricey, 
So I told him give me like a month to think about it. Um, and so I, well my sofa's not gonna be here for a while. <laughs> I think mid-May. Oh, that don't mind. I don't mind, I don't mind. Uh, and then, okay, so here's some other stuff. And I got the sofa from Crate and Barrel. So I went to Crate and Barrel first and looked up a sofa that I saw, well, went to go look at a sofa called Oceanair, maybe? It was so low. You guys know I'm six feet, so I mean like low. So she said it's kind of like a California style, like looking into the ocean. And I was like, well, we don't have no oceans here in, in Georgia. So why? So I ended up just, um, <laughs> I saw something else, saw the fabric, fell in love, went to West Elm to see the other one that I wanted to see. And that was a no-go. I don't know if it just looked, everything just honestly, guys, Everything looked really cheap after I left Crate and Barrel. I don't know. But I went to, I don't know, it just didn't look good to me. So this is the top to something else. Let me show you guys. To this. And this was $20, so this is, I don't even know what this is. It's natural marble though. You guys know you can get some good marble. Dang, you can't even see it. Once everything is, and it really goes well with that other marble thing. So, I just got some pieces in here that I'm just gonna incorporate. I said I wasn't gonna keep it, but now that I pull everything out, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot. So I, I may just sh shift some stuff from upstairs that I have that's gold in the, my closet, in my other closet, that's just sitting. And this, this is nice too. This is nice, I think this is nice. So, I'm gonna get creative with the things in here. I like it all, I don't know, can you guys see? So this is marble as well. They literally all have like the same color pattern, um, the marble. So that's everything, but I'm gonna save the bag just in case I decide to get rid of them. Well, I think I'm gonna keep everything because I actually really like how everything looks. This is nice. I'm gonna stick this over there and just start bringing in the color. And then this will probably go in my entryway along with this, some books or something. And then this, I don't know, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get creative with this. I need to find a bigger one like this and then I'm good to go. But that's everything that I got from Home Goods. And let me also go through the stuff that I got from Restoration Hardware. So here is the folder, guys. And I got my mirror. So let's, let me give you guys a little breakdown. So the mirror itself is $19.95 for the 42 by 78. If you are a member, it is $14.95, okay? Membership is now $170, I believe. Uh, it's for a year. You do not have to, you have to renew, meaning it doesn't automatically take from your card. So that's a plus because sometimes people do forget. Now, you're probably saying, oh, are you going to buy more stuff there? Blah, 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 blah. I don't know, but I have a year. And also, you save like $500 on like the stuff. Like, and then you also get, you get 25% off full price stuff, and then you get an additional 20% off anything that's on sale. Also, if you have purchased something, like say today, you have 72 hours to call them, add something else on your order, and use that one delivery fee, which is two, is it 249 or 279? So, all together, everything came up to 
2056. And I saved $500. So, yeah. And the gilt, there, you can't even see it, guys. It's over here. I'm so excited. I can't wait till this comes. She did say, well, the guy was telling me, the guy also helping me, that if I put it up on the wall, it's so big, it is gonna give me that grand effect. So I am gonna have someone come and put it up slightly just above my, maybe slightly above the sockets because I'm sure there's like a beam or something there or stud and you can't, I'm gonna say a beam and you probably can't drill in that area. So it's probably gonna be right above it. And then it's gonna be like really, really grand in here. I'm excited. So it should be here between the 15th and the 23rd. And you guys already know my thirsty behind is gonna show you guys everything. So the stuff from Home Goods came up to 152, which I think is really good for some marble things. And I like every single piece here. So I'm just gonna play around with the stuff in the kitchen with the gold before I go ahead and change my hardware, which I really wanna do. Um, if I can save and not get the guy to come paint, perfect. But I am noticing like some little imperfections. Let me see if I can show you guys. Let me see. Let's come over here. Why did it turn? Oh, I don't know. Can you guys see this? Can you see right here? So like you see like the wood. I don't, I don't even know what happened. Why is that like that? It's driving me insane. You only could see it like if you're really close to it, but it's definitely driving me insane, guys. And it's empty in here <laughs> because I got rid of everything. <laughs> I'm just ready for something different, guys. So here's the thing. I realized too, like mortgages and stuff are so high and I'm, you know, I said to myself, let's just be a little bit smart the next year and a half and let's stay where we are and then move, you know, then. But I'm gonna do another video, guys, and show you, tell you guys about this 28-day detox that I've been doing. Listen, if you are a health guru and you are into herbs and stuff, this is by Dr. Bobby Price. Child, it's nasty, but let me tell you something. This thing is good. Now, I'm a pretty slim, so I don't need to lose any more weight. However, my stomach has gone down drastically, so I have a lot of energy. My knee is not hurting. I'm running up the stairs without being out of breath. I would recommend anybody who is suffering from any like anything like diabetes, high blood pressure and stuff like that, do a detox. A detox is completely different from a cleanse, so don't let anybody tell you different. Do a detox, try to get back on and get health. I didn't have those issues, I just know that just over the years, I've eaten stuff before that probably was still sitting inside of me. So this was good. You will use the bathroom. Um, everybody is different. So some people may get headaches also because they're like weaning themselves off of things. I'll do a separate video with my experience about the entire thing. I think I'm on day 17. I got 28 days. So he has 14 and 28 days, but I would recommend doing the full one. It is disgusting. Okay, it's nasty. However, I do feel like it's worth it. So, yeah. But that's what I did today, guys. This is my quick little vlog. I need to show y'all my new stove. I, the new stove is fabulous as well. But make sure you guys are tuning into my channel. Let me know if you like more vlogs. I have this vlogging camera, and I'm going to figure out really how to do this vlogging thing. Because I, like, I haven't really done it to the point where I'm like, okay, it looks... I know it's a lot showing people you walking and stuff like that. So I'm going to get into the groove of it and try to push out the best content that I can for you guys. But I appreciate you guys for joining and coming with me to Restoration Hardware. And that's it, guys. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Make sure you are subscribing to the channel and follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style vlog, Coco, Coco Styles NYC. And my style services, Coco Styles NY. And guys, you know I'm on TikTok, Coco Styles NYC. And as far as my style services, guys, spring is nearing. So if you need to get your wardrobe intact, hit your girl up. I am definitely like busy these days with clients, but everything is moving really smoothly um, with them. So that I am I am blessed to say that. So I will catch you guys later. Bye guys.